Dr. Kissinger, my brother, uh, president of uh, Ghana uh, government, and uh, distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to state how happy I am to be invited uh, to see SIS uh, for this uh, very uh, useful discussion. Uh, let me say that um, the main lines um, to if we of U.S. policy and uh, uh, toward Africa um, have hardly changed since the end of the Cold War. Uh, to be very frank, uh, if I could remember how many times I have uh, had discussions with the distinguished uh, leaders uh, in the United States and then uh, across Africa, and we are talking about uh, how we could relate to each other. There have been so many meetings over so many years, and uh, we always come back more or less the same thing. We keep asking uh, what is it that we could do uh, and yet we end up not doing much uh, about that. But Africa has changed tremendously, and so has uh, America and the rest of the world. But it is therefore very important to rethink uh, how Africa and the United States relate to one another uh, Dr. Chisinger, your presence signals the weight and the promise of this initiative. The conclusions of uh, your analysis of the central issues of American foreign policy in 1968 uh, are as fresh and relevant as today, uh, as 50 years ago. I wish to highlight uh, two of them uh, this morning. First, uh, in all advanced countries, political stability was a precondition for industrialization rather than uh, an outcome. Uh, technical and economic factors alone uh, cannot uh, offer a sufficient moral foundation for good politics. Business and trade should rightly constitute the day-to-day -day subject matter of enhanced uh, relations between Africa and the United States. But it would be a mistake to avoid the frank exchanges uh, about values. Second, the core challenge in developing countries is the consolidation of political legitimacy. Even uh, two generations ago, the futility of a strategy based on uh, transferring or imposing American institutions on others uh, was clear. And uh, I was glad the other day to hear President uh, Trump say something about it, uh, imposing on people uh, uh, what others are thinking isn't going to be very helpful. And yet, uh, too often, political structures in Africa are evaluated against abstract notions of process, almost on uh, autopilot. This is done without reference either to the objective outcomes or to the views of the citizens directly uh, concerned and affected. 
when innovative uh, forms of uh, democratic stability are undermined, nobody's interest is served. Uh, the tendency to elevate abstractions about democratic process into a precondition for engagement rather than a basis for discussion is uh, counterproductive. Third, America succeeds uh, whenever it is able to generate willing cooperation uh, based on a sense of shared purpose. This brings me to recent developments in Africa, particularly the continental free trade area that uh, uh, Dr. Kissinger referred to earlier. <coughs> which was signed in March uh, in Kigali. We view this as a historic step. Uh, it will transform trade <coughs> within our continent while requiring the world to relate to the fastest growing continent as a single block for trade uh, purposes. In fact, this again consolidates uh, uh, the efforts that have already been underway uh, for continental integration. But this agreement should be understood in a wider context. The CFTA heralds a new <coughs> political reality in Africa. We also signed an agreement on the free movement of people uh, within Africa, uh, for example, as, as part of that. Africa is currently undertaking coordinated action in the United Nations Security Council to use UN assist contributions to fund the necessary African Union mandated peace support operations that the United Nations cannot conduct on its own. In addition, we have made major reforms to the financing and institutional functioning of the African Union. The United States initially responded to this obviously uh, positive development by um, sometimes a discussion that involved whether this was a, a new uh, financial levy that uh, World Trade Organization that violated or contravened the World Trade Organization uh, provisions. Uh, we have had discussions uh, back and forth. I, I, I think uh, most of the misunderstandings have been uh, found to be inaccurate and therefore uh, done away with. Uh, but the confusion served to highlight uh, the need for improved dialogue about how Africa and the United States can better collaborate, because this is the main objective, uh, to enhance each other's prosperity. Uh, the new Africa Dialogue can be an effective platform for these efforts, and I look forward to working with you uh, 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 on this matter. Once again, uh, thank you very much for inviting me and uh, uh, for listening. Thank you.